appreciate every one of you who's been so wonderful with me on my channel. I've been trying to help in one way or the other to enjoy groups. I really want to appreciate you. I couldn't appreciate you just enough already. But then I'm so grateful. Um, today I want to um, talk about mathematical fraction. We've been doing mathematics today. We did an English the other time and we uh, alternated. So today we are going into mathematical fraction. We will understand what fraction means and how, uh, what types of fractions and how we can follow fractional operations. So let's go directly into what we have today. Fraction, fraction, fraction. Here we go. So I, I hope you will enjoy with me. So when I say fraction, what do I mean? Fraction means a part of a whole. It's um, a quotient out of a whole. It's, it's, it's a part of a very large thing. For example, let's say we have, let's give an example of what fraction is. Let's say we have something like a box of rectangular um, platelets. Let's say uh, into this very whole. We have a box of rectangular platelet. Let's just assume that is our rectangular plate. This is our rectangular plate. And then it's divided into several partitions just like this. So this is a board. The entire rectangle is a board, but then divided into partitions. So we have how many divisions here? One, two, three, four, five, six out of this hole. So here, this is one box, actually, one rectangular box. But divided into several partitions. Therefore, if we're, what we're talking about fraction is, you take up, let, let me just pick out one of those uh, rectangular bits in this rectangular box. I pick up one from here. Let's say I, I, I took one of this from this hole. We have about six here. So I took one. It means I've taken a fraction of this hole. That what fraction means. It means that I took one out of six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I took one out of the number of rectangles in this very hole. So that is what I mean by fraction. So if I take two, let's say I Let's say I took two and then um, we would have two out of six. So these are all fractions of this entire system. So that's what we mean by fraction. So I hope you understand it. Um, there are kinds of fractions. We have proper and improper fractions. So what do we mean when we say, okay, proper and improper fractions. When we have this, what do we mean when we say proper and improper fraction? So when we say a fraction is proper, it means that a fraction, remember, has a numerator. Like we cited in what we did before, the rectangle, we said one over six. So this at the top is what is called the numerator. And this at the bottom is called the denominator. Therefore, if a, 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 a fraction is considered to be a proper fraction, if the numerator is less than the denominator, this is a, is a typical example of proper fraction. So if the numerator is greater than the denominator, rather if the um, numerator is less than the denominator, Numerator is 
less than the denominator, we consider it to be a proper fraction. But when this is an example of a proper fraction, 2 out of 6 is an example of proper fraction, 3 out of 4 is an example of proper fraction, 8 over, say, 17 is an example of proper fraction. That is, these all are the typical examples of um, proper fraction. So let's talk about improper fraction. When we say a fraction is improper, it means that the numerator is greater than the denominator.
add one, whatever it gives you, then you bring it and divide it by the denominator, which is your three. Your denominator is three. Your denominator is three. So you get this, work it out, and divide it by your denominator. And that is how to work out the mixed fraction. So, for example, let me take another example of mixed fraction. Let's say five whole number three over seven, whatever. So in this we can what do we do? Just like we solved this, just like we worked it out, we can bring it to a simple fraction. So if we say five whole number three over seven, how do we work it out? We go by five whole number three over seven. So we go pretty much the same way that we did, some way, some way, some process that we um, did, we say five times seven plus three. What would it give you? Five times seven. We say seven, 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 seven. This is one, two, three, four, five. We say fourteen, fourteen, and seven. So what do we have here? Twenty-eight plus seven will give us thirty-five. So we have thirty-five. This gives us thirty-five plus three. 35 plus 3 gives us 38. So, what is our denominator? When we have our denominator, we say this is 38 over 7, arriving at improper fraction. But this is not our concern. Improper fraction is not our concern. We're talking about working it out to a simple fraction. If you have 5 whole number or whatever whole number as a mixed fraction, you work it out to a simple fraction so it can help you finish up the operation without hitches or troubles. So this is, uh, we will come to an end of this. By now we would have to end it here. And I just want you to take your time, go through it, go through the video, follow my steps, just follow the things that I have done. I am trying to, Grow us all up together, uh, like we, we need to understand some things, the rudiments, so that when we find this whole thing in operation, this is also arithmetic, part of arithmetic that we did. When we find them in mathematical problems, we can we can tackle them without fears. So that is why I'm trying to open us up to all of this little, little business. So thank you very much for being with me. I appreciate you. Please watch, subscribe, like, comment. Cheers, Bob.